This is industrial networking. And we're going to discuss project four. Okay, so uh, project four, we're going to hook up a variable speed controller, uh, PowerFlex 40. We need to uh, program the SLC 500-3 to um, drive the PowerFlex. We need a stop, a start, forward, reverse, and digital speed control, which means we have seven different speed operations we have to do. We want to be in source wiring. And then we want to, uh, after the program's written, we want to uh, do something, uh, wire the PowerFlex 40 so that it'll, it'll do what it's supposed to do, and then make the panel view, turn it on and off, and then check to see that it works. Okay, so the issue is start, stop, forward, reverse, digital speed operation in source wiring. Okay, so that's going to be the case. Uh, we uh, first thing we're going to do is establish communications on uh, RS Link with our controller. So we're going to open RS Link, and we're going to go to the squiggly line in the middle, and we're going to go to the DF1 guy, configure him. This is a, an SLC channel zero or a panel view. We're going to hit configure, auto configure, and he's not there. He's not there because he's not turned on. Okay, so I'm going to stand up, turn on the power. That's brilliant. Always brilliant to have the power turned on, and we'll do it again. All right, so we auto we automatically uh, transferred um, control. We, now we have control of the power flex. We don't turn off the um, RS link. We have to keep it on so that we stay in communications. Uh, we come up in RS link English 500. And uh, we go to comms, who active online, who active go online. We find that we have our power, our SLC 503 sitting there. Channel 1, because this is a DF1 connection, we're going serial right into the machine. Um, we uh, really don't care about the program that's there, so we'll uh, go offline. And we'll delete the program that's there. I'm not going offline very fast, but that's all right. Nothing like speed. All right, so we're going to delete the program that's already in the processor, and then add a couple runs, and see what we have to do. All right. So the first issue is we want a stop guy. So I'm, I'm going to use a normally shut, and I'm going to go to a, um, an output. And um, we'll call this guy B3 colon 0 slash 0. Uh, binary guy, I can operate from the, power, from the panel view, so I, I wouldn't want to call it an, an input. So uh, we're going to call him stop. We call it normally closed so that because if it's not closed, the power flex isn't going to come on. And if I push that button on the panel view and it goes stop, then uh, the normally close opens and the stop guy drops out. Then uh, we look at our picture and we see uh, B3 colon 0 slash 1, next binary bit, we'll call it start forward. 
And if we look at the power flex wiring, we see that and we're in three wire control, this would be a momentary guy when he come when I push that push button, it'll start and it'll run forward. And um, some output, we don't know which one. Um, then we're going to go and call a uh, B3 colon 0 slash 2. And we're going to call that our reverse. And I think I spelled reverse right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to latch that reverse guy because in the PowerFlex, the reverse guy, V-E-R-S-E, isn't, um, isn't momentary. I have to hold that button in. Well, if I hold that button in, then I better, um, and I can't have the forward and reverse on at the same time, then I better do an unlatch of the reverse guy when I go forward. Okay, so that, that's, that's the plan. All right, now the issue is how am I going to control speed? Um, my speed control goes um, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And uh, in binary, that's zeros. This is a 1. That's a 2. That's a 3. That's a 4. That's a 5, that's a 6, and this is a 7. So if we were to put these numbers in the uh, three least significant bits of our output, that would be a simple thing to do. So that, that's what we're planning on doing. So we'll go back to the 500 program and say um, we have a speed guy. And we'll call him uh, B3 colon 0 slash 3 speed. And then we'll go and um, put a counter. So we'll use a counter, uh, an up counter. And we're going to count all the way to 8. And uh, it's going to be C5 colon zero C5 C5 colon zero okay so that's what it is we're gonna count up to eight when I get to eight it's gonna reset now we do oh and then we're gonna go and um, we do have a problem we'll discuss that in a little bit uh, we'll go and put a uh, jumper around this guy and we'll do a move and it's going to be a mask move because we don't want it to uh, mess with the uh, the rest of the output. So we're going to do a mask move. C5. I did it again. Colon zero. Dot ACC. The accumulator. And we're going to send the um, accumulator through a mask of uh, seven H. Hexadecimal seven, which is a one one one. That would also be a decimal seven. It, uh, the same thing. Destination is our outputs. Now the issue is where are our outputs? Now because we did a who active online, our input output configuration is correct. So we have triac outputs on the three guy, and triac outputs on the five guy. And then we have um, an eight output sync card sitting there. Input sync card, it looks like. No, it says output sync card on four. Zero, one, two, three, four. And from my angle, I really can't tell. So we're, we're going to use the, the, the output card that's in three is what we're going to do. So we're going to send this to... O colon three dot zero. If I O, so you notice that that's not a zero. That's a letter O colon three dot zero. So we're gonna, we're gonna send the outputs of the accumulator into the first three bits 
of the output word. And then we're going to go, when the accumulator gets, when the um, counter gets done counting, what are we going to do? Well, let's see. We'll find out as soon as I get there. Okay, so um, C5 colon 0 slash done. When the accumulator is, when the counter is done, we're going to um, reset the reset res reset the uh, c5 colon zero the counter now why did we go to eight well if i if i push in the speed button uh, and i when i when i get to seven and then i go to eight i'm going to end up going to one and I'm never going to get to zero again so um, we want we want to go to seven so that on eight I reset but if on eight I reset and I don't let go of the speed button really quick I'm going to go to one and I'm never going to see zero as a result I'm going to put a, um, a one shot rising in that counter line so this is normally the the counter needs to see a true false transition in order to count but on resetting it it will it resets and now it's ready to go again on the next scan if I haven't taken my finger off that button for speed I'm gonna make it to one and it's gonna happen very quick B three colon zero slash four the next guy in line um, one shot rising run three so that I don't use it anyplace else. All right, now that I've decided the first three bits are going to be used for my um, speed, so I, I've got uh, B, uh, not B, but O colon three, so I got a speed bit, a speed bit, a speed bit. 2, 1, 0 is, is speed. Um, then I'm going to use the third bit for my stop. My fourth bit I'm going to use for the uh, start forward. And the uh, that doesn't look like a 4 to me. And the fifth bit I'm going to use for my reverse. So that's my plan. I already have my plan in my head, and that's what I'm going to do. Going back to the 5000 program, I come up and uh, the stop guy is going to be O colon 3 slash 3. No, O colon 3 slash 3. Yeah. Or stop. O colon three slash four for forward reverse start start forward notice that I didn't type a colon there I typed a semicolon and the computer corrected that O colon three slash five and I'm going to do that for my reverse guy. And then this guy is going to be O colon 3 dash 5 for a unlatch. And what are we doing with him in there, I wonder? Okay, and with that, I'm going to do a check. And I have an error in run 5. It's probably called a dead short. And sure enough, I got an extra run there. And I'll cut him out, and I'll check the program again. And now that the program's done, ready to go, and um, all I need to do is um, wire it. So we have a problem with wiring. What is the problem, you may ask? Well, the PowerFlex 40 
is working on 24 volts and the um, and the SLC 503 uh, output card is working on um, 120 volts AC and this is 24 volts DC so we have an issue and so we're going to have to resolve that issue aren't we okay and the way we're going to do that is with relays so we're going to take uh, some relays one two three four five six relays and I'm going to do that again someplace else I'm going to go and move those six relays because they're in their own, they're in an interesting spot. I move them down there, and then we have our output card sitting up here uh, in slot three in the SLC 500. Oh, three guy, our um, yeah. Okay, so we have control power. We have hot on our control power, and we have common on our control power. It's not really green, but I can't use white, common. So we're going to bring the hot over to the guy that's uh, the um, voltage AC. Okay. And then we're going to take the relays on pins 2 and 7 turn on the relay. So we're going to go and uh, take pin 2, hook it up to 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 pin 2, if I have a broken record, hook it up to pin 2, and I'm going to go back to common. And then we're going to take uh, the output zero uh, output zero and we're going to bring it around to pin seven and that's my speed one and then we're going to take um, output change I will change the back output one bring it around to pin seven and we're going to call that speed two that's a d there in case anybody was wondering and then we're going to take pin output two and hook it up to pin seven and we're going to call that speed three so those are our three speeds. The least significant bits, that's a three. The three least significant bits, the zero bit, the one bit, the twos bit, the four bit, hooked up like that. And then we're going to make this guy our stop, our start, our reverse. And we're going to take output. three and hook that up to pin seven of the start output four hook it up to start pin seven pin seven and output five and we'll change colors on output five and run it over to pin seven of the reverse okay so that's what we're doing and then we're, we're looking at the power flex. So we're going to take our relays again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Speed one, speed two, speed three, stop, start. Forward, reverse, 
and we look at the relay and we see that we have a normally open contact between 1 and 3 and between 8 and 6. So what we're going to do is we have the power flex over here in two rows of pins and this is pin 11 the first guy and pin 11 is 24 volts and we're going to bring pin 11 so we'll, uh, we'll use blue and we'll bring pin 11 into pin 1 of the relay and pin 1 into pin 1 of the relay and pin 1 into pin 1 of the relay 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 so now we have our 20 bar volts going to our speeds um, to all six of our relays and then we look at the top part of the wiring of the power flex and we'll make us so we have plenty of room up here so we can play with it and we have position one two three four five six seven that's all we care about there's still eight nine and ten but we're not going to play with those today and now we're going to see if we can hook them up and we're going to go from pin two of the reverse guy and we're going to come over to pin three which is reverse we're going to come from pin two pin two pin three of the, so we're using pin 3 all the way across. Pin 3, which is start forward, and um, we're going to hook up to pin 2, and we're going to come from pin 3 of the stop relay, and we're going to uh, hook up to, and if I would have done this better, I wouldn't have had to cross my lines to pin 3. Well, that is really a silly looking picture, isn't it? So what we're going to do is we're going to um, back up some. And we're going to move um, the pins that are on the top there. And we're going to put them underneath our relays like that. And then we're going to go get this part here. Put them underneath our relay. Like that. And then go back and put pin 11 sitting there. 24 volts sitting there. Okay, now we're all set now. So pin 1 goes to stop. Pin 3. Pin 2 will go to forward start pin 3 reverse we'll go to pin 3 of the reverse guy then our speeds speed 3 pin 3 into 7 speed 2 into 6 and speed 1 pin 3 into 5 so that's how we're going to wire it. And then when we have it wired, we will uh, go and write the, the uh, panel view program, turn it on and make it work. Now we still have another problem, so we might as well talk about that. And that is we have an AC problem dealing with the power flex. So we have uh, AC to the, the power flex 40. So we're going to have to go and take uh, line one, line two, line three from our power supply and hook it up to line one, line two, and line three of the PowerFlex 40. 
And then we're going to have to take T1, T2, T3 from the PowerFlex 40 and hook it on to the motor. Okay, now we ha our motor is 230 volts. It's three phase. That's called low voltage. That's a phase thing. It doesn't look like phase. It looks like a Q, doesn't it? All right, so three phase. That's better. And um, which is low voltage. which means pin one goes to pin one and it also goes to well pin two goes to pin two t2 goes to t3 and t7 and t8 and t9 and uh, t4 t5 and T6 are connected together so that I'm now I'm Y connected low voltage so that's what I'm doing there okay so now that's connected to and we're all set ready to go and that ends my discussion of project 4